planting seeds during new moon a comprehensive guide planting fruit seeds the moon has long been known to influence the natural rhythm of life on earth including the growth pattern of plants by aligning planting activity with the phases of the moon gardeners around the world can optimize the growth and yield of their crops in this detailed guide we will explore the significance of the new moon and the full moon in gardening focusing on how to plant seeds during the new moon for the best result we'll also discuss the ideal timing for planting to achieve specific growth outcomes such as tall trees or early bearing fruit trees additionally we'll examine the difference between tropical and colder climates in terms of optimal planting time the new moon versus the full moon understanding their rules before diving into the specifics of planting it's essential to understand the astronomical differences between the new moon and the full moon and how these differences influences plant growth the new moon the new moon marks the beginning of the lunar cycle occurring when the moon is positioned between the earth and the sun during this phase the side of the moon that faces earth is not illuminated by the sun making the moon invincible in the night sky the new moon rises with the sun at sunrise and set with the sun at sunset meaning it is up during the day and not visible at night the full moon however approximately 2 weeks after the new moon the moon reaches its full moon phase during the full moon the earth is positioned between the sun and the moon so the entire face of the moon that is visible from earth is illuminated the full moon rises when the sun sets and sets when the sun rises making it visible throughout the night the influence of the new moon on plant growth The new moon is a powerful time for planting seeds. Practically, if you aim for tall, vigorous plants growth, here is why. During the new moon, the gravitational pull of the moon is at its strongest. This causes water in the soil to rise, providing seeds with more moisture. This increased moisture can accelerate seed germination resulting in faster and more robust growth this growth energy the new moon phase is also believed to direct energy upward this mean that plants are more likely to focus their growth on stems and leaves reaching upwards towards the light if you want trees that are grown tall and strong plants during the new moon and can help encourage this vertical growth plants planting for tall trees on the first day of the new moon planting for tall trees on the first day of the new moon if you if your goal is to grow tall trees the first day of the new moon is the most critical time for planting here is how to optimize your planting during this phase the ideal planting hours during this time to maximize the upward energy of the new moon plant your seeds during the early morning hours the period just after sunrise is ideal as the sun rises energy complements the upward pull of the moon's gravitational force 
planting between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. on the first day, the new moon will give your seeds the best chance to grow tall and strong trees. Also, ensure soil preparation. Ensure that the soil is well prepared with good drainage and sufficient moisture. The increased gravity pull of the new moon will draw water to the surface, so your seeds will need a fertile and moist environment to strive. As for the seeds type, well, seeds like corn, right? Tall grown vegetable like corn. These combination of new moon energy and the natural growth tendency of these plants will produce optimal result. As the day progress, now we're going to discuss the days following the first day of the new moon. As the day progresses, after the first day of the new moon, the influence of the moon and plants growth gradually shifts. Here is what to expect. The second to the fourth day, energy during these days continue to support upward growth, but it begins to stabilize. This is an excellent time for planting leafy vegetables, herbs, and other plants where you want to encourage strong, vigorous foliage like cabbage and lettuce, pap chow, plants and vegetables such as that. Fifth, to the seventh day, the moon's energy start to shift more towards root development while the plants still grow upward. The focus on stem and leaves growth start to balance with root development. This is a good time to plant crops that are required strong root system such as root vegetable and other crops. Remember we are also here talking about above ground crops only although we are moving towards the ending of the new moon and then the full moon. So in some sense, although you might have the full moon for underground crops like cassava and so forth, there are some tube crops that do well three days before the full moon. So you can plant and those specific crops can be planted three days before the end of the new moon and one such crop is dasheen. Dasheen is planted three days before and three days after the new moon. So three days in the full moon and three, the last three days of the new moon. So some crude crops can grow at the ending of the cycle of the new moon. When the eight day reaches in the new moon phase, it's going into what you call a waxing crescent phase. As the moon enter the waxing crescent phase, the energy continue to support a balanced growth. This period is, well, I would I say, stabled for planting a wide range of crop, particularly those that benefits from a well-developed root system combined with healthy foliage above ground crops during this period also. Planting fruit seeds on the last day of the new moon. The last day of the new moon offers a unique opportunity for planting fruit seeds, especially if you're aiming for shorter bushier growth and earlier bearing fruits. Here is how. Energy shift on the final day of the new moon. The moon's energy is transitioned towards the waxing crescent phase. 
This phase is characterized by focus on roots development and the consolidation of energy within the plant. As a result, seed plants on this day are more likely to develop strong roots and compact growth habits. As the best planting hours on the final day of the new moon, this optimal time to plant fruit seeds and the last day of the new moon is during the late afternoon between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. By planting during these hours, you align with the cooling energy of the day, which encourage the seeds to settle into the soil and develop strong root without excessive upward growth. Growth Characteristics Fruit trees planted on the last day of the new moon are likely to be shorter and more compact, which can be advantageous in certain gardening scenarios. Shorter trees are often easier or early to manage, harvest, and care for, and bear fruits earlier than taller trees. The difference between tropical and colder countries. The influence of the moon and plants grows in consistence worldwide, but timing of planting may vary depending on the climate. Tropical climates. In tropical regions where temperatures are warm and regulated, stable year round, the new moon is a prime time for planting a wide variety of crops. The constant availability of moisture and warmth ensure that seeds planted during the new moon can strive regardless of a specific season. However, planting during the rainy season may yield even better result as the natural abundance of water will complement the lunar influences. Comparison planting. Consider using companion planting techniques to further enhance the growth of your crops. Certain plants, when grown together, can benefit each other by improving soil health and repelling pests and other providing shades and other support so in one sense like you say you're planting a garden with tomatoes and salt it's kind of good to plant like peas trees in between it in that sense but observation and adaptation gardening in both a science and an art Observe the growth pattern of your plants over time and make adjustments as needed. The lunar phase provides a valuable um, framework, but each garden is unique and location condition may require modification to your approach. In tropical climate, the new moon is an ideal time for planting year-round, while in cola region, the timing of your planting may need to align with warmer months of the year or planting zones by paying attention to the moon phases. Preparing soil and choosing the right planting time, you can harness the natural energy of the moon to create a striving, productive garden, whether you're growing tall trees, compact fruit bushes, are diverse array of vegetables. The new moon offers a powerful opportunity to set your garden up for success. I do hope this information was helpful. Thank you for support from Gardening with Kurt.